Hello, it's Charlotte and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, we are going to be going over five places to use keywords on your Squarespace website for better SEO. So if this sounds like something that you want to learn about, then you are in the right place. And in this video, we're going to be talking about not only like what keywords are, where to use them um, strategically, like in terms of practically seeing where they go on your website. So I'm going to show you using a demo website. You'll be able to follow along with me. And I'll also explain to you why we put them where we do. So again, if it sounds like something you want to learn about, you are in the right place. And if we haven't met yet, then hello, I am Charlotte. I'm a Squarespace SEO expert. And here on my YouTube channel and my blog, I create lots of content all about like Squarespace SEO and online business and marketing and anything you need to know in order to grow your website and your business online. So here we go. Let's dive right on in. I'm going to share my screen now. Um, if I can get it to go, here we go. All right. And before we begin, I want to let you know that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist that you can download, and I'm going to leave the link for it down below, um, just in the description, or if you're reading the blog post, you can grab it here. And this Squarespace SEO checklist has been downloaded by like thousands and thousands and thousands of people at this point. So you are an excellent company. And whether you're a complete beginner at Squarespace SEO, or maybe you've like dabbled a little bit, but you want to make sure that you haven't forgotten anything, then this Squarespace SEO checklist is going to help you out. So grab a copy of it, uh, work your way through, compare what you've done versus what I have here in the checklist and thank me later. <laughs> Okay, now let's get into it and talk about five places that you can use keywords on your Squarespace website for better SEO. So before we dive into it, and before I start actually walking you through this on the back end of your Squarespace website, um, it's important to talk about like, what are keywords? And you might hear the things keywords or key phrases. And basically, these are just the words or the combination of words that are in different places on your website that help Google to understand the kind of content that you are. So basically it's the words that someone is might use to do an online search, but it also compares to what you have on the content of your website. And I do have a really good video actually that I, I strongly recommend you take a look at it, which talks about keywords in a bit more depth. And we also go through a basic keyword brainstorming exercise for your Squarespace website and SEO. So I'm going to link to it up above, please take a look at that keywords kind of 101 video, first of all. And then now that you have a basic understanding of like what keywords are and stuff, now let's talk about how we actually use them on the Squarespace website. How can we put these keywords, which are so important for getting your Squarespace website to show up in an online search result? Where can we put them on the site? Okay. And first off, it's important to note that keywords can go in a cup in several different places, both on the front end and the back end of your Squarespace website. So I'm going to be showing you a couple places that we might incorporate it in both here. And as you can see, I've got a Squarespace website pulled up. This is just a completely demo website. Um, I think it's on Squarespace 7.1. Um, so it's not a real site. Coastal Construction is a fake company. This is this is not real. But for our purposes today, this will do fine. So let's go through the list. The first place that you're going to do use keywords is in the SEO descriptions. Now these SEO description fields are on the back end of your Squarespace website, and I'm going to show you how to get there. So from the main navigation, you are going to go down here to settings. Okay. And then you're going to click on marketing and now click here to SEO appearance. And down here on this panel, you'll notice that there's two sections. There's the SEO site description, as well as the SEO title format field. Okay, And this is the first place that you're going to use keywords. So in this SEO site description, um, I talk a lot more about like, I mean, okay, actually, let's just go through this together. <laughs> Yeah. So this SEO site description field is basically where you are going to describe to Google the bot that is coming to your website, what your website is about, what kind of products or services you have, where you're located, the kind of clients you work with, what offerings you have, any important features you want to highlight, 
so basically giving Google an overview of what your website is, but more specifically what your brand or your business or your offerings are. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to check out my Squarespace SEO, like kind of 101 video where it goes through the basics of this. And I explain this in a lot more detail, but as you can see, if you go through this, you can see that I'm adding a lot of keywords into this SEO description. So I'm talking about, you know, even here, just like what the company is. And then I'm saying like, what we are, right? So the company name and what it is, where it serves, right? So like, you know, the location, the local SEO side, I'm saying what kind of, you know, like service offerings we do on what type of properties, right? And then any features around. So I want you to, again, refer back to that keyword brainstorming exercise that you would have done when you watched the video that I linked to at the beginning, um, and then use that to help you fill out the SEO site description. And this is the first place that you're going to add keywords. Another spot that you're going to add the keywords here is in the SEO title format field. So the default that you'll see probably on most websites, like yours included, if you haven't touched this yet, it'll probably just be percentage S. And percentage S is pulling the code from the site title. So in our case, you know, here you can see the site title is uh, Coastal Construction Limited, right? And then one of the things we can also do is kind of add this keyword chain further into the SEO title field. So again, getting that aspect in our case, it's really important in this particular example to really hit that local SEO and make sure that we're targeting a certain geographic area. So that's why I've put like the location on it, but you could also expand a bit more on the services, the products you offer, the type of target audience or clients, customers you have, anything like that. So this is an overview of the first place that you're going to add it is on the SEO description for the website as a whole. Kind of along those lines, now taking it a step further, let me just move the that, is now we're also going to do something similar on the different pages and posts of your website. So I'm going to go through this part pretty quickly, but you'll still be able to see. So here, for example, if I'm on this residential renovations page, if I open up the page settings and go to the SEO tab, you'll see that again, I filled out the SEO description. So once again, I'm telling Google what this page is about specifically, um, you know, who I am, what I do, the products or services I offer, the area that it's in, any main features about it, whatever. And I'm using again, natural language, but I'm using the keywords. I'm really trying to think about what is someone typing into Google if I want them to land on this web page. So really getting those keywords into the SEO description here. And same thing too, SEO title, the keywords are pretty straightforward on that front as well. Um, and then last but not least, you'll also do that for any like blog posts that you have. So let's click over here. Um, if we click over into uh, settings and then go to SEO. Again, this is where you're going to be filling out the SEO description. So thinking about all of the keywords, really summarizing to Google, what is this post about, trying to overview it, get as many of those um, keywords in there as possible. So those are the different SEO descriptions, and that's the first place you're going to put keywords. Let's move on now to the second one, which is the second place that you are going to put keywords on your Squarespace website is in the web page or blog post or product page title. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So here again, using that, um, you know, residential renovations page, just as an example. So anytime you're opening a page, you'll see that there's like under the general settings, there's the basic page title and the navigation title. Often those will be either the same or very similar, but you'll see here that I'm, I'm really explaining to Google what is this particular page about. So in this case, it's for a service that my business my business offers. And you can see I'm really saying residential renovation projects, right? Really telling Google, what is it about? So I'm not just being like projects or renovations. I'm being like res residential renovation products, right? You see pro projects. You see how I'm really like being a bit more full with my keywords there? Um, of course, there are some places where, you know, like for example, the about page, like you, you could sure like expand it and be like about Coastal Construction Limited or about our company. But also in this case, like an about page is an about page. So you're fine with that. But specifically when you have like multiple service pages, multiple product pages, lots of blog posts, you really want to make sure that that page title is full. 
And let me show you again along those lines here for the blog post. So in this case, if I'm looking at the blog post itself, let's see here, you can see that I've given a good, um, you know, in this case, five things that set our construction company apart. You know, like it's a, a pretty straightforward blog title, but I do have, you know, a couple of keywords in that blog post title. So that's always helpful. We love to see it. Okay, the next one that we are going to talk about is the third section, which is actually writing um, long form content on the page itself. Because if you think about it, Google is going to be crawling and indexing all the pages, all the blog posts, all the product pages that you have on your website. And you want to make sure that you are actually giving Google lots of information about the keywords that you're trying to rank for. Because Google, again, they're looking to serve up at the top of the online search results, the web page that is the best quality, highest um, relevance, satisfying someone's search intent, all that sort of thing. So if you have a web page that has longer form content, then automatically that is going to be beneficial. So in terms here, we're talking about long form content. Yes, it can be on a web page itself, specifically if you have a services page. I really want you to lean into long form content on a services page. Um, and I do have a video that talks a bit more about like services pages and Squarespace SEO. So I'll link to that up above as well. But here's an example as well using like a blog post. So, you know, you could instead of just having like a short little like a a tiny little thing, you might have much longer form content or, um, you know, yeah, like that, that just can be really helpful to really lean into again, that long form content, put lots of information about the product, the service, the topic that you're trying to write about in a blog post. Don't just summarize like a couple ideas off the top of your head, like give Google lots of information, be like more, 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 give Google all of that, think about the keyword itself, any variations, anything adjacent to it, all that sort of thing. Okay, now let's talk about point number four. So this is the fourth spot that you're gonna use keywords on your Squarespace website, and that is in the images on your Squarespace website. So when it comes to images on your Squarespace website, there's actually quite a lot that goes into making sure that it is correctly formatted, named, the file size is correct, all that sort of thing. So if you want like a pretty in-depth explanation, I do have this image guidelines and best practices for Squarespace SEO. So you can grab a copy of this here if you're interested in it. I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, but also just in terms of the images themselves, let's like go through a couple different things. So um, I think this page here, just for demos, has some examples. Okay, so let's pretend that, you know, in this page, we have an image, okay? And you want to think now about like how to actually name the image, right? So what I would do is I'd come down here to my file name, for example, and if it's just like pick 01 or like beach <laughs> pick or something, like that's not helpful for Google, right? We want to try to use keywords in the image file name to tell Google what the image is about. So I kind of recommend a three-part naming process for your image where first you say kind of like your brand or your business name then part number two what you do or like the services you offer or something and then part number three is where you're describing the image itself so seeing how that would work is maybe I would do something like you know coastal construction limited um you know boutique whoopsies boutique renovation and oopsies, construction company in Central California coast. That's part two. And now part three is where I'm really like explaining what it is. I'll just say something like wooden deck and outdoor living space on beach house, like waterfront property or something. Okay. And so then I can just, you know, save that and we're good. So do you see here how I've given the image lots of keywords? I'm really explaining to Google what the image is about, what Google is like seeing with that image, right? And putting the keywords in that way is going to be so much more beneficial. You're really giving them a rich sense of the information about the image. It's not just like a picture, right? So that's something you're going to want to do. And I do have as well, if you want to check my YouTube channel and just literally search like images, 
on my YouTube channel, you'll see I have a lot of other videos that talk a bit more about like naming, formatting, all that sort of stuff on images correctly. But this is a great place to really put, make sure that you're putting in the keywords. Okay, and then that brings us to point number five, which is the fifth place that we are going to put keywords on our Squarespace website for better SEO. And that is that we are going to add those keywords into the tags and categories. So specifically, if you, for most people, that might be if you have a blog post, but it could also be galleries or other collection items. Um, but let me just show you on a blog post, because I think for most people watching this, this will be the most um, common place that you would have it. So let's say you open up your blog post or you, sorry, you go to your blog page, you're gonna click on settings for the post. And then here on the options tab, you'll notice that there's a couple different sections here and one of them is tags and one of them is categories. So this is where you're gonna add some of those categories itself. So in this case, the category for the blog post, um, it might be something like, you know, like our business, you know, right? Because I think in this case, the blog post was like five things that set our company apart, right? So it's a little, maybe the category is like our business or our company or like something like that, right? And now you want to think about all, so the category is a much more like general, higher level overview of what the blog post is about or what category it falls into. And so often you'll just have like one, maybe two categories, but in terms of tags, this is where you can really like go, you know, balls to the walls and add as many tags as you want, which again, relate to the categories. So it could be something like, you know, um, our company business behind the scenes. It could be something like, you know, construction company, um, renovation company. It could be something like local business. I don't know. <laughs> Santa Cruz boutique construction firm. I don't know, right? Like whatever. But you see here, basically the thing I want to highlight is that you generally have like one, maybe two categories, but then many, many, many more tags. Okay. Um, and I think I do have a video that talks a bit more about tags and categories. So go take a look at that to go through it in a bit more depth. So anyways, there we go. Voila. Now you have a good understanding of at least five places on your Squarespace website that you can add keywords for better SEO. And again, just to recap those things, the first one is in the SEO descriptions, whether it's for the website as a whole or for the pages or blog posts themselves. Um, point number two is on the website or blog post, the page title, okay, the page or the post title. Number three is on the page content itself. So using long form content. Point number four was the images. And point number five is in tags and categories. So if this was helpful, then um, let me know down below. Feel free to like this video, leave me a comment. Um, yeah, tell me if this was helpful. If maybe you're like, oh, wow, I didn't know like how to use keywords that way or something. Or, oh, I didn't know you could put them there or something like that. And if you haven't already, make sure that you grab a copy of that Squarespace SEO checklist. I've got the link down below so you can grab your copy at any time. And take a look at the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about Squarespace SEO, websites, um, online business and marketing, all that sort of thing. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I will see you again soon in the next one. Bye.